Well, we made it to Morrod. We're gonna spend the night in their uh, parking lot. Six o'clock tomorrow morning, we're getting our independent suspension installed. Kind of a nice little setup they have. They have six spots for uh, campers to come in the night before their appointment. Uh, it's electric only, there's no water or no sewer hookups, but you can plug in and stay right here in the parking lot. And then it takes about a day and a half or so for them to do the install. So the, uh, the second night, you can stay in your camper inside their service bay. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see how, see how everything goes. While they're working on your camper, they have this really nice lounge area that you can uh, hang out in. 
They have a cooler full of drinks that they provide you. Uh, they'll buy you lunch as well. It's really comfortable. They got TV and everything for you to just kind of relax while they're working on your camper. Their typical work day is 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. So you can get back in your camper at uh, 2 p.m. if you need be. face when you load it then they're more flat okay so we build it in like up here I can't get my fingers behind here but if I come down here I can grab all the way around the torque bracket so it's already built into the system the other nice thing which is not common with other leaf spring systems is that we can align this so we get your camber and your toe where it needs to be on your tires and so that's another nice feature of it lots of people always are confused about the the shocks because they feel like the springs would take it out but tires are rubber they bounce so that the shocks help kind of absorb a little bit of that bounce uh, and get it back into position where it needs to be uh, something else to point out with this the, the clear caps typically would indicate an oil bath don't put oil in there it's all <laughs> greased uh, so if you ever need to do an alignment and you're not close to us uh, big truck stop big rig trucks truck stops with the laser alignment systems yep. they can do it but they're going to see that clear cap and they're going to be like wait is this oil or is oil. it grease tell them it's grease and everything will be good from there so so the bearings in there we suggest 12 to 15 thousand miles or once a year depending on whatever comes first you repack those put new seals in put new bearings in um, well actually you can reuse the bearings if they're good um, if there's no dings or anything on them. We're used to bearing, but definitely new seals. Um, the other point of wear that you might notice on here is this, this shock, but the shocks have a one year warranty on them. They're not stuff that we build, but if you ever see oil or anything leaking down from the top part of it, that indicates that the shock needs to be replaced. And I have had people that are worried about this little bolt because it sits down a little further. And we do, honestly, like there's stuff on the roads that hit it and can bend it. As long as it's not a 90 degree turn on that bolt, it does not affect the functionality of that. The other point of wear would be the bushings inside the torque bracket, which you can't see right now, but um, to my knowledge, I believe they're Teflon bushings, so they're gonna last a while. 
in there, but that could be a potential point of wear, especially if we don't keep grease inside the torque bracket here, which it's easy to do. You just, the grease surface yeah, here, you pack it full of grease until it bleeds out both sides, and then you know it's full because it's not an airtight system, and that's just a steel beam running right through the middle of there, the journal bar. And so you want to put the grease in there to keep it from rusting. So if there's not enough, if the grease ends up not being in there enough, then that potentially could affect the bear or the bushings in there. So uh, a little bit beefier, a little different, uh, but this will be something that's more OEM specific uh, for things that they need. what it's doing here I wish the bit I wish it had on there the big oh, the diagram the big diagram because yeah. it's got a little white X moving around on there and that's where the laser is in cutting so if you can take a peek in there of that different but like the 7k i mean what's that way you know for the tandem axle for a tandem axle 7k is going to probably per axle probably going to add about 200 pounds okay um 8k is anywhere from 3 to 350 per per axle um so that's where that's roughly it so the, the finish on we we don't machine these we actually have to bring in the spindles we just don't have the capabilities of machining those like we need them to
beginning to the end, our experience was amazing. We would like to thank Lindsay for helping us set up the appointment, Sean for taking care of us on site and giving us the tour, and Sergio and the guys for all their amazing work. Just by watching this video, you can see how smooth the ride is. We weren't able to line up the video on the same roads at the same time. You can clearly see the difference. When driving down the road, we'd hit a bump in the truck. I'd be looking in the mirror, waiting to see that same bump on the camper. It just didn't happen. Maybe we'll see you in the club. Next we're heading to Eastern Ohio to explore the wonders of the Cuyahoga National Park. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along.